Hey guys, um, Natalie Morris here with Quantum Command, and this video is, I don't do videos very often uh, these days, but this video is for all of my clients, especially those that have been hit really hard <clears throat> this past month with the hybrid pathogen. I'm just going to give you guys um, an update on how to navigate some of those symptoms. Um, I think I've kind of found the answer here, so after, you know, 17, 18 days of serious symptoms and seriously you know my clients really navigating some pretty tough stuff um i think this is the answer i've really turned a corner so just want to give you an update on what that looks like if you're not a client and you're watching you're welcome to watch and enjoy but it's probably not going to make a lot of sense to you um but that's okay so just you know watch and enjoy and uh, maybe you'll get some info out of it that would be helpful um okay so let's start with what happened. What happened was we got a pathogen, right? And attached to that pathogen was the radioactive uranium. When someone comes into contact with nuclear fuel, that ends up, of course, causing gamma radiation throughout the body, creating DNA damage and cell damage. Okay, that was the first, one of the first things that happened. Most people navigated that in the respiratory system. Okay, so they felt it first there. The phys this physical, you know, mucous membranes were damaged, even though you released it immediately. All my clients have their proprietary scans that release these pathogens and toxins immediately as soon as they come into the body. So even though you guys released that immediately um, and it had the most minimal impact possible, it still had impact. Of course, the first impact was the physical damage, which the new DNA scan fixed. Um, so you guys are probably familiar with that. If you haven't gotten the DNA scan, we can go ahead and get you um, into that. The second thing that it did, of course, is um, one of the things that nuclear fuel does is it, as a byproduct of it, creates radioactive, I'm like trying to walk myself through it because it's really technical, um, radioactive iodine. So we know that the places in the body, there are major places in the body, hubs in the body that absorb iodine naturally. One of those is, of course, the phenomenal amount of iodine that's absorbed is by the thyroid. The body uses natural, th uh, natural iodine to make T3 and T4. You can't function without it. You can't function without those two hormones. You get really, really sick. And if you don't have enough iodine in your diet, then that can't, you know, continuously, regularly be created in your body. Um, so when you get radioactive iodine, of course, when my clients get it, they release it immediately, right? So that off, that, that occurrence of the radioactive iodine occurring from the nuclear fuel exposure from that uranium-233 attached to that hybrid pathogen, um, what that did was that completely depleted the thyroid of all iodine, the body of all iodine. There was no iodine in the body. Even though you released, you released all the um, radioactive iodine and you released the uranium and you released the pathogen, you, that basically left you with no iodine. So when the thyroid doesn't have iodine to use, I mean, you're getting minimal amounts and your salt and probably your nutrients if you're taking nutrients, but you're just not gonna get enough to replenish the body. That is something that I had no idea about that would affect the body in such a great way until a girlfriend of mine said, holy cow, what are we supposed to do in reaction to being exposed to nuclear fuel? Are we supposed to take potassium iodine? And I'm like, I don't know maybe so I started looking up and of course um, might not be common knowledge because we haven't had a nuclear bomb go off in a long time but what happens is when people are exposed to radioactive material they are told the authorities will tell them to take their potassium iodine tablets that's why it's good to have those in your house in case of a radiation situation what that does is it fills up the thyroid with regular iodine so it cannot absorb the radioactive iodine in our case, any radioactive iodine that was absorbed was immediately released as a toxin using these proprietary scans that you guys already have percolating happening in your body. So, but what results is that you have no iodine left. So, <clears throat> this is what I am doing in order to replenish my iodine. And just note, yesterday I was in bed from, like, I've been in bed for 
all month, but um, from the sick from the sickness that I've gotten from what I thought was the ongoing radiation sickness. I thought that's what I was experiencing. It was this constant radiation sickness that kept going and going and wouldn't go away. But I kept wondering, why am I so sick? If the fuel, if if what was causing, you know, the radiation is gone. I couldn't put my finger on it. Well, I'm not sick from the continued radiation. I don't feel well because my body is completely depleted from iodine because the body quantum, the body released all the I, the radioactive iodine and now I just need, I'm not eating enough iodine. There were days where I was doing pretty good. That's because I was whatever, just by chance eating a lot of iodine. I've been drinking a ton of milk, which is really not like me. Um, and I've been wanting it and craving it like crazy and craving sugar like crazy. Um, so this is what I'm doing. Now this particular brand is Trace Minerals. You can see kind of on the top there's a nice blue pill there. Um, and it's Liqua Men's. This basically has the potassium iodide and some trace minerals in it. It doesn't matter if you have the trace minerals in it, but you need iodine as potassium iodide. That's what you need. You don't necessarily need this brand, but you need it from potassium iodide. Um, the minimum dose that you need to take in order to, to reach that minimum dose, you know, the body needs the minimum doses in order to do what it needs to do um, is 750 micrograms for adults and around 500 micrograms for kids. So that translates to five drops of this um, every six hours for us. And for the kids, it's about two drops, which, and they're really bitter. Like, it's, this tastes terrible. So um, if you can add it with juice or bribe your kids or whatever. Um, my mom used to try and get my kids to eat sauerkraut. And so she'd be like, okay, if you, to, for, you know, because it's a live probiotic food, she'd be like, okay, if you eat the sauerkraut, then I'll give you a piece of chocolate after. So you may have to bribe your kids. So anyway, it's worth it. Um, one of the kids that, uh, a few of my clients have started this, and one of the kids of the clients who've been really sick from this said, Mommy, can I take some more? Like, because I can feel, I feel my personality come back. And that's exactly how I felt yesterday when I started taking this. I sent my, bot, my husband on a, on a little hunt to go find this for me. And within an hour of taking this, my personality was back. I was really happy. I was really myself. I was, you know, mouthy and, you know, how I am. So I was really optimistic and I wasn't sullen and depressed and exhausted anymore. Like I could feel my energy come back and myself come back. It was really quite wonderful. Um, and today, and I remember yesterday, I was totally bedridden and I had stomach cramps so bad. I was like in a fetal position and crying for half the day. Today, it's not even been 24 hours since I took this. Um, I am not myself quite yet. I, I feel a lot better. I'm still a little tired, but I am fully here. Like I feel my personality. I feel really good. I feel optimistic. I'm a, I'm a little... I'm a little nervy, like I've, I'm, I'm just, my, I can feel my nerves are frayed a little bit, but I think after about three or four days of this, I think I'm going to see that I'm, I'm right back at it and I'll be able to take client calls and do stuff with you guys again. So, um, that's the issue is taking the potassium iodide because you, you want to replenish your body with this iodine. Um, at least that's what I'm doing. I can't tell you what to do, but I can just tell you what I'm doing. So, um, that's, this is the, like I said, this is the trace minerals. This was like 13 bucks at the vitamin shop, which they're, they tend to be kind of a higher price. So you could probably get it better on Amazon, get overnight shipping and start to feel better pretty soon. Um, if you have Amazon prime. So, um, I'm going to put some links in the box below the video, the comment or the, um, the link section so that you can look up some of this information that I got this, you know, data from. And remember I validated this information with several other clients before, you know, I decided to do this. So we figured out the minimum dosage. We figured out what the body needed. We validated that the body in fact needed the iodine. Cause remember I do the nutrient scan and we can find out what the body is deficient in. So all of that stuff got done before I put this video on. The only reason I'm doing a video is because I just don't want to, I have so many clients, I don't want to say it over and over and over again. So maybe this won't be the only video I do. Maybe I do more update videos as things kind of progress. But um, I just want to get this out because it's really, really important. I'm sure Amazon's going to be scratching their head going, why is all this iodine flying off the shelf all of a sudden? So it's all over the East Coast. Everybody wants iodine. So um, that's what I would do. 
and I, again, it's not even been 24 hours. I expect in the next three days to really be much more further re uh, rehabilitated. I've, I've really been suffering quite a bit. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, text me. Don't put it in the comment box. I mean, you can say something in the comment box if you want, but I probably won't be able to answer many questions because I'm kind of underwater as it is. A lot of clients trying to get a hold of me because I just haven't been able to answer my phone or do any scans at all, hardly. So I'm sorry that I've not been able to do that. And hopefully we'll get right back in the saddle again in the next couple days. Hopefully by Monday, I'll be able to start taking some, some scans again. So if you guys have any questions, text me. Um, and like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be this brand, but it can be, it has to be iodine as potassium iodine. And I really hope this helps you guys start to see yourselves turn a corner. And I hope this thoroughly explains it. So blessings, guys. Can't wait to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, bye-bye.